Akara has just released a new sensor that is potentially the craziest smart home device on the market today. It's their new presence sensor, the FP2, with features that no other smart device has, like an ultra high precision radar sensor to detect the slightest of movements, live multi-person detection with specific zone monitoring, and support for Apple HomeKit to be used in automations, and so much more. In this video, we'll check out what makes this sensor so special, how it works, compare it to the Akara motion sensor to see which which one is a better choice for your smart home and some really cool automation ideas that you can do with this present sensor. Now, Akara did send me out their present sensor for this video and this is my honest review. So what makes this present sensor so special? Well, since the FP2 present sensor is very similar to a motion sensor, it's important to first understand the key differences between a present sensor and a motion sensor. So what exactly is a motion sensor? A motion sensor is designed to detect general movement in a large area or room. It uses PII our technology or passive infrared, which detects for infrared heat or radiation that's coming off of people, pets, or even objects. A motion sensor looks for a change in radiation in a wide general area and not a specific area, which could create a problem if you have an automation that whenever there's no motion detected, then turn off the lights. For example, if you're in the room but not moving, like watching a movie in the living room, then the sensor will see that there is technically no motion and turn off the lights, even if you don't want them to turn off. And then you have to wave at the motion sensor for these lights to come back on. On the flip side, a present sensor is slightly different than a motion sensor and could be used in place of a motion sensor in certain cases. A present sensor is designed for large homes or large rooms and detects for precise movement or presence in multiple specific and smaller areas. It uses MM wave technology or millimeter wave with an ultra high precision radar sensor and is designed to detect only people and not pets or other objects. The FP2 present sensor solves a lot of the issues that you get with a motion sensor because it can detect occupancy, i.e. if you're physically in the room and not just overall movement. So back to the living room automation example. If you were watching a movie in the living room, the presence sensor could see that you were still physically in the room, whether you're moving or not, and would only turn off the lights when you actually physically left the room, not if you're in the room but not moving, like with a motion sensor. With a present sensor, you won't need to have multiple single motion sensors. The presence sensor can essentially be multiple regular motion sensors baked into one. Presence sensors, at least the Akara FP2, has to be hardwired and plugged into the wall and cannot run off of battery. This leads me to some of the issues that I have with the Akara presence sensor and how it's supposed to be installed. The FP2 sensor can be installed on the side of a wall, either tilted or facing flat, in a corner, or even on the ceiling. If it is ceiling mounted, then it can actually detect for falls, which is pretty cool and completely private. The sensor includes a detachable USB-C power cable, no power adapter, a magnetic piece, and screws for mounting. And here's a pro tip for installing the sensor if you don't want to drill a hole into your wall. You can use Velcro command strips and cut into small pieces and stick it up on the wall and test the sensor to see if the positioning is how you like it. This way, you can easily remove and move the sensor to a different area, and whenever you take the sensor off the wall, it will not remove any paint on the wall. In fact, I was able to move this sensor around in multiple rooms for testing and I had it stuck on my living room wall for a couple days now and it's not fallen off. I'll leave these command strips down in the description below if you want to pick them up. I'm not a fan of this sensor needing to be hardwired personally and having this cord hanging around could stick out like a sore thumb. Though you could buy your own length of USB-C cable, either shorter or longer, to get just the right length that you need. You could hide the wire maybe behind objects like my coffee counter here to watch for motion in the kitchen, but I still don't like this. I much prefer this wireless design of the Akara motion sensor, either on the wall or a desk or on a table. It's a bit more out of the way and not as obvious. This motion sensor does have a two year battery life, so I rarely have to change the batteries. Even though the present sensor is hardwired, the features you get with this sensor, like much faster response times and more precise detection, might just be helpful enough that having a cable might not be that big of a deal for you. Speaking of precise detection, the Akara app allows you to create specific zones, which are essentially small areas for the sensor to monitor for presence or even absence, which is whenever you're not in the area. The sensor can monitor rooms of all sizes, living rooms, bedrooms, offices, 
rooms up to 430 square feet. Up to 30 zones can be created using a grid system with up to 320 cells. So let's say you wanted to monitor for motion only on the couch and at the front door. Well, you can create these zones here in the Akara app and it's pretty easy to do so by dragging your finger across these cells and giving the zone a name. There are stickers that you could add as well that will give you a visual indicator of what the area is, like a sofa, TV, entryways, a desk, etc. The sensor does not use stickers as detection, only the zones. The stickers are there for you just for a good visual layout of the room. There's also interference zones that you can set up that gives the sensor a better indicator of what's in the room, like the walls or other objects to avoid detecting them. Currently, you are not able to rotate this grid, so you kind of have to set everything up upside down, which is a little challenging if you're not physically facing the same way the sensor is but this will be fixed in a future update. And if you need to make a zone bigger or smaller, then you can easily fine tune this as well to get just the right zone set up. And let me tell you, these zones are extremely precise. My wife came in the room and sat on the couch and as she was walking, you can see the little person, you can see the little person icon moving where she's going. And here you can see two little heads on the grid here. And whenever she gets up, the head follows her location live. These zones are very accurate down to the inches. I set up a zone for my couch for testing. And here you can see that I'm at my couch. I had my lights turn on when I'm at the couch and turn off when I'm away from the couch. And as you can tell, I moved just the slightest to the couch and quickly the lights will turn on and I move the slightest away from the couch and the lights turn off. It's crazy how precise MM Wave technology is. Now what's even wilder is the Akar Presence Sensor FP2 supports all major smart home platforms, including Apple HomeKit, without requiring an Akara hub. And there are some pretty cool features that you get in the Apple Home app. But before we look at those features, you know what else has cool features? That's right, a wallet. Wait, what? How can a wallet have cool features? Well, the folks over at Exter, who is sponsoring today's video, found a way to make wallets that are unlike any other wallets on the market today. And not only are their wallets very high quality, practical, and minimalist looking, but they can hold cash and store up to a whopping 15 cards. They have an incredible quick release button on the side of all their wallets that will fan out all your cards with one click, making it super quick and easy to grab the card you need right away. An RFID blocker is built in, so you don't have to worry about somebody trying to skim your credit card details while you're out and about. Extra wallets come in a wide variety of styles and colors, like space gray aluminum and leather. To take this even further, Extra sells more than just wallets, including things like a key case, a tool card, and a MagSafe card holder. And during their spring sale going on right now, you can save up to 30% off store wide by going to extra.com slash Adams Tech Life or use my code Adams Tech Life at the checkout for up to 30% off. Pick up your extra wallet today by using the link in the description below. And a huge thank you to Extra for sponsoring today's video. Now let's look at the features that you get with the Acquire Presence sensor in the Apple Home app. There's a home QR code on the bottom of the sensor that you'll use for setup. In the Apple Home app, there's a light sensor exposed and each zone that is set up in the Akar app is synced to the Home app as an occupancy sensor and not a motion sensor. You'll have to rename each zone in the Apple Home app, but now you can see if there's motion, say on the couch, but not at the front door. It's live updated as well. So if I'm on the couch, it says there's occupancy, but if I leave the couch, it says no occupancy. And if you create a new zone in the Akar app, then it will sync to the Apple Home app. Though like other smart devices that work with Apple Home, not all features are exposed to the Apple Home app like you would get in the Akara app. You are not able to create zones or view a live map of a person's location in a room in the Apple Home app. So with all this being said, what are some automation ideas that you can do with this presence sensor? Here's a couple of cool ideas. My favorite way is to have the lights turn off in the office when I'm physically not in the room. When I walk into my office, and I'm in my desk zone, the lights can automatically turn on. And whenever I physically leave the room or zone, the lights will turn off. And only whenever I leave the zone and not if I'm in the room but not moving like on a computer and browsing the web. A really fun idea that you can do is if you have a large house or a long hallway is you can have your lights turn on and off as you leave or enter a room. Because of MM wave technology and zone detection, when you go into one zone, say the kitchen, the lights could turn on. But when you leave the zone, it could turn the lights off. And as you move through various rooms or zones or hallways, lights could turn on as you enter and turn off 
off as you leave a room. As you can tell, the presence sensor is jam-packed with some crazy, useful, and highly practical features with ultra-accurate MM wave technology. Zone detection is great for using in automations, but these features do come at a high price tag of about 80 bucks, whereas in a car motion sensor is about $20. You could replace multiple car motion sensors with one FP2 presence sensor and get even more features for the same price. My only real complaint is that the presence sensor has to be hardwired and cannot run off of battery like a motion sensor can. Other brands like Ecubee makes a wireless occupancy sensor. So if a car could make the presence sensor wireless like their motion sensor, then their presence sensor could be a bit more useful with more versatile placement options like a motion sensor can be used. I would love to hear how you use the Acara FP2 presence sensor in your smart home and what your thoughts are on this sensor. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Here are some other Acara videos that you might like. Thank you for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.